So you just made a gastrula at the other table. Here, we're going to model what a human embryo looks like at one month. So, at one month old, a human embryo is about four millimeters big. So that's like smaller than a pea. That's like the size of an apple seed. So what we're going to do here is blow this model up like 20 to 50 times as big so we can see what's going on with all the parts because it's kind of interesting. So take your big ball of clay, roll it into a snake, and you want one part of the snake to stay thick, and you want the other part to have skinny little tail. So take your little snake, and you're going to make a C shape out of it. So this is called a neural tube. A neural tube is what goes on to become everything in your brain down through to your spinal cord. So this is the top, and that'll be the end of your spinal cord, which is down near your butt. So now, the first thing that we're going to make on our little embryos, we're going to take just a little bit of clay, and we're going to roll out two tiny little tubes. And these tiny little tubes we're going to place on the side of each of our embryos. We're going to make them into little C shapes. So we'll put one little C shape tube there, and we'll put another little C shape tube over here. So what do you think these are on each side of the neural tube? They're not your ears. They're actually your eyes. These are called optic cups, and it goes on to what becomes your eyes. So when you're an embryo, really early on, you have eyes right here. And then as you start to develop, those eyes come forward as your, your face folds in on itself. And all the stuff out here will fold in so your eyes will face forward instead of being like a lizard with two eyes on each side. So the next thing that we're going to make is we're going to roll out two little balls and we're just going to flatten them. So take your clay, make two little flat balls. We're going to put those right here underneath the eye. So what do you think those are? One on each side of your head. Yes, those are your ears. So these are the earbuds, the auditory vesicles. They're what are going to go on to become your ears later on. So the next thing we're going to make is we're going to roll out eight little balls and we're going to have a little rod to attach them. So roll out eight tiny little balls. Roll, roll, roll. You're going to have four on one side and then you're going to roll out another four, four, the other side. So after you have your tiny little balls, you're going to make a little rod for them to attach to. Four on one side. One, two, three, four. Four on the other side. One, two, three, four. So this is going to go right here beneath that top bulge of your head. So what do you think that is? This is something called your pharyngeal pouches. And those pharyngeal pouches are actually part of your guts. They're what's part of your foregut. It's going to go on to become glands and stuff that help you to swallow. So this is your foregut, and then you'll have a midgut, and then you'll have a hindgut later on, which you can imagine what happens there. So we made our pharyngeal pouches, our first parts of the little guts there. Now it's time to make something put it in the middle of that. So we're going to roll out a ball in the, in the shape of a little teardrop. So make a little teardrop, a little pear shape. And then you're going to take another ball of clay and you're going to make a little rod. And then in the middle of this rod, you're going to put the little teardrop and wrap the arms of the round, rod around it so it gives it a hug. So this is going to go right in the center of our embryo. What do you think that is? What do you have right in the center of you beneath where you swallow and stuff, where those pharyngeal pouches would be? Yes, it's your heart. So it starts out as this tiny little tear bud shape with two little rods around it. And later on, it'll start to move and morph some. It'll become much more like the type of heart that we see normally, 
but early on in development, it doesn't really look a lot like that. So, you made your little embryo. There's a lot of other little parts that we could make, but those are just some of the big ones for today. Um, you can take them with you, or you can leave them here as beautiful models for the next people that come up so that they can see just how gastrolas and human embryos are made.